truth you don't get you out of faith for the, this world will repeat lessons to you over and over and over and over until you get it you, you keep mm -hmm. bumping against the same problem until you get it. It's just that's just the way it works. It's not going to work any differently. It is a universal law. Until you learn, you're going to just repeat the lesson. That's just the way it works. It it just is what it is. Right. Your feelings are your primary source of communication with your inner being. That's it. But you lie to yourself. You're a bunch of liars, like everybody else. But those who are successful have learned how not to lie to themselves as much. And when they do lie to themselves, it is for prosperity. So when them losers in themselves pop up, those losers say, oh, you can't do it. And they lie to themselves and say, yes, yes I, I can. can. That's a prosperity lie. That's a prosperity lie. Everybody else, and by everybody else, I mean average people, by average people, I mean 90% of the world, mm -hmm. you lie to yourself. You're not honest with yourself. You're just not. You're not honest with yourself, so you spend all this time. When you're, when you're average, when you're not honest with yourself, and you put yourself at a 90 percentile, the, the the 90 percent time which 90 percent of the people you have to compete with it's a lot of people and then there's people like me since there's a bunch of you that say hey since I got so many options this is what I'm gonna pay you pause let that process it's a bunch of you you're gonna take 850. You fight that. You're gonna take eight fifty. Oh, you don't? It's cool. Thank you. You're dismissed. Next, <coughs> because the line is around the corner down the street and in the middle of the city. I got plenty. Of, the gene pool is full. Oh, there's a lot of fish in this pond. That's when you average. When you average, people tell you what you're worth. But none of you were born average. You conform to being average. You just flat out conform. You conform to being average. And you think that's okay. It's not okay. Because that's what you do. Because you're, you're, you're lying to yourself and you're not in your feelings. Or you're in your feelings. And those feelings are never a prosperity. Mm -hmm. There are no mistakes, there are just longer roads. You are right where you're supposed to be. The 90th time I've said it, I'm going to keep saying it. Now, how many of y'all really believe that? Okay. How many of you believe it this morning, waking up, you were right where you can't, you can't believe that because you said, not this morning, you can believe it now. I didn't think about it, but I believe it. So this one time I didn't think about it, okay? Now think about this for a second. You say, I didn't think about it. All right. What did you feel about it? Good. I felt woke up. I mean, I felt good. Okay, but when adversity hit, what did you feel about it? Okay, so then yeah. one of these is true. When adversity hit, when you didn't have a practice behavior, when your instincts were forced to jump out, when something didn't meet your demands or your expectations or your presentation for yourself, the real you came out. Mm -hmm. that's the name. So that's how you feel. I'm feeling, seeing the real me more than I want to. There you go. That's how you feel. Two weeks for two weeks, I've been feeling that frustration in the real me. Okay, so what did I just say? This, this universe will repeat the Harvey's lesson. Harvey. It will repeat the lesson until you get it. Until you get it. And until you get it, that's the real you. Say, yeah, I, I say, how many of you feel good? Of course you feel good, because ain't nothing happened. So of course you feel good. Because you so I mean, I, I throw myself off. And that's the real you. And that's your real feelings. When the slightest bit of anything happens and you react, 
That's when you. That's when your practice behavior doesn't have time to kick in. Hmm. Your auto suggestion does. Mm-hmm. Your auto suggestion is the real you. Mm-hmm. That practice you is not the real you. Mm-hmm. That practice you is not the real you. How you behave under pressure when you don't have time to think. I run up on you and I slap you. You ain't got time to do no practice behavior. <laughs> Whatever's in you is if you get hit back. I'll be like, <laughs> whatever is in you. Whatever is in you is gonna come out to you. Remember? If I just yeah, right in your head, you're not gonna be able to say, wait a minute, I read in the book. I read in the book that I should feel felt found. You know what? I know you slapped me. I felt that way before. I found that, you know, this behavior is unacceptable. No, I feel that way before. I no, I know how you feel. I felt that way before. Here's what I found. If we just now you gonna do all that. No. You gonna slap me back. Can we just yeah. talk about this for a minute? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when I asked y'all uh-huh. earlier, so if I slap you, you're saying I'm not telling you. You could be right. I don't know what my reaction would be. My, okay. I know what so my, let's I find out. Like, what, let's find out what your reaction would be. Because maybe <laughs> maybe being slapped is not your problem. Like for real, I don't know what my reaction would be. The so good I, thing is, I can tell you what your reaction is going to be by making you tell me what your reaction is going to be. <laughs> so being slapped is not a problem. Sounds like it's a problem for him. No. <laughs> okay, definitely a problem for him. <laughs> That's the problem for me. Laugh. I wish some mother would around in What? <laughs> See, it's not a problem for me either. Okay, not a problem for you. Yes, You've been there before, it's all good. Not a problem for you. So let's find out the problem for you and find out how you would behave. You come home and you come home you come home and you're being totally disrespected. You had a good day. You're being totally disrespected at home. I mean, by, by everybody, by, by the fish, the dogs, the kids, the wife, the water heater, everything is just out of control mm-hmm. until you stay happy. Don't lie. This is, well, you can lie if you want to. <laughs> It'll be a longer <laughs> road. No, 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 I was thinking more like, I was thinking more like frustrated, maybe. <coughs> like but frustration. You I, mean, I wouldn't be happy. I'd be like, I'd be like frustrated and, and like more of like a panic mode. Like, what's going on? What? How can I fix it? Or what can no I problem. do? No problem. Let's go deeper. And you can't fix it. And we ain't trying to hit it. Mm-hmm. What do you right. do next? You've done all your learned behaviors. Mm-hmm. That, that's what you did. You hear what the only thing you said was learned behavior. I'm, okay, what's the problem? How can I fix it? Got it. Uh huh. <coughs> Stonewall. What happens next? Okay, all right, punch a wall. That's the real you, sir. Well, I'm just being real. Okay, that's, that's the real you. The <laughs> that's the real you. But watch it, watch it. The real no, you don't, don't mind getting hit, but the real you no, would inflict you. hit on other people or other things or other, whatever. You get it? You don't mind <coughs> being hit, but you are most certainly the aggressor. Mm-hmm. That's your own answer. Okay, I. I'm, hey, you helping me? I'm like, you know, if you, you get it now, me. I'm not saying you're hitting people. I'm just saying that you, you, re, you have to release with anger to feel better. Ah, oh. hmm. those are your words. Oh, yeah, oh. those are your words. You, 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 you just helped me because uh, it was like three, like, like a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. I tried something at work, mm-hmm. and. And, and, and I, my total idea was, okay, I go to work, I'm mm-hmm. not going to talk to anyone, I'm going to just get in my mode and I'm going to focus on what I have to do. Mm-hmm. But it didn't help me because I ended up being more mad and feeling like didn't nobody want to talk to me or tell me what? nothing. And it, and it made me, it, it just, okay, it, okay, it made you mad crazy though because I put myself you know what I mean I did that to myself because I was like well man I just want to focus I don't want to talk to nobody I don't want to make friends right I just want to focus on work and that's it but then when but then when <coughs> but 
then when I realized I got so upset, I got so upset with that, and, and man, I literally want to quit my job and everything. I'm like, I'm like, look, I want to quit. I want to quit my series notice because I'm just, but it's crazy. I had to force myself to that. It's like, it, it was it was a dangerous place to be for me. So I had to realize, okay, I, I, I can't be like that. I had to be open. So, so once I went to work and I started being back me and talking and laughing and you know what I'm saying, I, I felt better. But, bro, when I put myself in that isolation for that time, okay, like, that's where I was gonna it, go next. I, I, I was, I was more like a volcano. Isolation. I roughed it, like, bro. Okay. I, I remember, bro. Remember, there are no mistakes. That's the only thing we talking about. <clears throat> there are no mistakes. Just longer road to get to where you're trying to go. Isolation is the longest road. One of the longest roads. <clears throat> What's your favorite food? <laughs> just, just right off the bat. Just any one. I don't care which one you pick. Seafood. <clears throat> which 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 part of seafood? Uh, fish. Okay, when if it was one fish. Mm. Well, no, seriously. <clears throat> In the whole world? In the whole world, what if it was one fish? Wow. Wouldn't that be a problem? I mean, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 <laughs> it, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> so crazy, but you're so crazy. Like, like, for y'all. <laughs> but, 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 but when you said that, my auto suggested, like you said, you yep. know, talking about auto suggestion again. Yep. Clearly, you know how to deal in lack. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know how to make some food stretch. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Hey, but you did you see, I, I haven't even brought out the economical implications of having one fish. Mm -hmm. The whole, there were people in Thailand, I mean, there would be countries that mm -hmm. live off the yeah. fish economy. Mm -hmm. That was just, but then forget that, the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Fish the circle of life. eat stuff in the water that we don't need. Mm -hmm. We would be poisoned. You know what I'm saying? We would be absolutely poisoned if it was not for fish. Just I'm all, well we have oxygen but we have no fresh water so we'd be dead. The world would be an uninhabitable place. Plus millions of other things. Cause somebody had isolated themselves. Ooh. I hope you know that's where I was going the whole time. Ooh. Now, what up? God dog. Cause somebody Ooh. isolated themselves. Isolated itself. Tell one fish. What he said it was you isolate yourself. That you you you, you become one fish. Mad problems for the entire world. The whole are, world. And people are dying. Look, I'm mad at you Listen. now. Huh? Like, people are <laughs> dying because you isolate yourself. Yeah. Ooh. That's what I just did. God. That's what I just did. Like, what I just did was prove like that when you isolate it's yourself, so, but, it's equally as dangerous and it was, as one fish. And it was so real because, bro, just for that moment, just just for that moment of that, because because I had never done public isolation. It was always I isolate myself by myself to myself. You know, even if there's people around, I'm still that, okay. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But once I did this it public, long road. Road. you can't do that. Long road. It's a long oh, road. Oh, okay. Remember, every time y'all go long road. on a long road, I'm interrupting and I'm gonna tell you. Mm -hmm. But it's exercise. What's well, long road? That's when you ain't doing nothing wrong because ain't no mistakes. Mm -hmm. It is when you align to yourself or <clears throat> deciding. Oh, let me take a longer road to get to my supreme destiny. You just try to justify isolation. levels of isolation. 
Just learn. I'll yes, yes. You were like, oh man, listen. I got to, you know, I got the group isolation, or I got no, no. Isolation is isolation. Period. Wow. How is it not? Wow. I so. Right. As in one. Okay. No. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Take wow. ISO in the group. Just because <laughs> this so, whole universe is. What if, what if there was one cure for measles? Just one. You see some bumped up people? Wow. What if you had one, one grain and a half? Mm-hmm. What if you had one tooth? You wouldn't even be able to eat, you wouldn't be able to eat meat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're giving context to my LLP and loneliness. Okay, well, there you go. Wow. You wouldn't be able to eat. Like this. You had one eye. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be able to have the depth perception. The reason you have depth perception that means you're able to see distance and spatial recognition because mm-hmm. you got two eyes. Mm-hmm. They compare and cover contra- one. Cover one. Mm-hmm. So that's why there's a shift when you cover one. Yeah. Two eyes. Yes. Because your two eyes are creating the 3D world that you get to see. Wait a minute. Well, I one eye, I still get 3D world. Mm-hmm. You still get 3D world when you cover one eye. But it's limited. But, and, and also know that most of that 3D world is inside your head because you know what this room looks like. Mm-hmm. Now watch this here. I'm not telling you you couldn't see. Because no, your retina, your retina <laughs> is allowing, has other stuff to make you see 3D world. But go out there and try to jump and, and dunk a basketball or run track or do triple jump with one eye. You will be thrown off. Mm-hmm. You won't have that depth perception. I'm not telling you you won't have some form of it, but it won't be what you think. Stand up right now. Put your hands out. Stand on one foot. Mm-hmm. You'll keep your balance. Mm-hmm. Close your eyes. It's you'll lose more. it. Mm-hmm. If you if you do this right I'm now, rejecting. Did she tell, oh, are you testing it? Or, oh, yeah. is that now rejecting? close your eyes. It's gonna be much harder. It's much yeah, harder. The moment I close my eyes, I start getting shaky. The moment you yes. close your yes. eyes, your brain. Because you don't know what's around. I mean, I, I know exactly what you know. I know neuroscience. The, the moment you close your eyes, your brain loses its spatial continuity. Mm-hmm. That's a form of meditation. I'm I'm just trying to tell you. So you just. Wow. I'm trying to tell you so nothing in this world. So I want isolation. Do you comfortable with my own? Center yourself. You can only ever bring lack to your own self. Wow. The universe will never too. give you lack. So, he, so you just you just gave us something. He just he just gave us another rabbit trail to follow. <clears throat> Pay attention. I'm trying to prove to you, nature don't isolate nothing. Right. It just. <clears throat> nature doesn't isolate anything. Mm-hmm. Not in, not to survive, mm-hmm. to die, mm-hmm. but not to time, survive. The only time animals isolate is to die. To, in, to survive, no. Mm-hmm. The evolution made us group together. Mm-hmm. We found out as cavemen, oh, if we come together, mm-hmm. we can survive against these bigger animals. Mm-hmm. Your brain is far older than you. It has evolved to be a unit in unity with one another. Period. We we are here as a species because we came together. The saber two tigers, all sorts of stuff that were coming against us as a species. And then when we said. You know what? We need the warriors we to protect. We are brilliant people. We yes. This world full of brilliant people because we are brilliant with maybe 10%, that's debatable, of our brain power. We build skyscrapers and the internet and iPhones. Mm-hmm. Elephants have not evolved to build buildings. Mm-hmm. Roach has been here longer than us. And they ain't got Wi-Fi. We were never going to die. No, roaches ain't. You know, nuclear bomb is going to be roaches. That's for sure. <coughs> now, he said the... What was that you said? Uh, no, lack. 
I, so he said, so I brought the isolation on myself. Yes, you my brought the isolation. isolation on yourself. You created it. Because the only way lack is going to exist is when man created it. Mm-hmm. And the only way you get to have lack is when you allow it. Mm-hmm. Nobody put lack on you. You have to say, this is the way it is. And you allow <coughs> lack. <coughs> you accept lack in your reality. Mm-hmm. You accept not to pay attention. You accept go to sleep in class. No, it's just somebody. Don't worry about it. You accept. You see stuff in there? You accept I know I did. I have. I did. all these things wow. that don't work out for you. Wow. That's all you do. And none of it's serving you. And you've accepted that. Okay, wow, man. that's crazy. So check this out. There are no mistakes. Yeah, just longer roads. Oh, man. It's longer road. Yeah, yeah. That's going to come out. That's funny. That might be my last time. <laughs> it needs to be. Are you on the long road? That's, that's what it needs to be. It needs God, to be. It's, God, it's, it's only longer so road. Long. So, so once again, so how do you feel to be with you? Your feelings. The mm-hmm. question was, how do you tell the difference between the two? Your feelings. Do you feel good? If you feel good, you're on a shorter road to your destiny. Whatever that may be. Whatever, whatever it is you create. That you want, that you're deliberately creating, that you want. You feel bad. And, and here's the crazy part. <coughs> Go ahead. No, because I'm thinking of enjoying the journey is different than the long road, obviously. People always say enjoy the journey, and they think that they're going through this because it's their journey, but they're actually creating it, the long road themselves. Yes. You create everything. Everything in your life you have created. So when they say enjoy the journey, it's just it's talking about the feeling. Yes, enjoy. because Be until happy. you enjoy the journey, you can't shorten the trip. Quote that. Until you enjoy the journey, you can't shorten the trip. So that's more like saying, you. Until you enjoy when I get the house, I'll be happy. But if you're not happy already, you won't be happy. You, you never go get the house, right? Until you enjoy until you enjoy the hard process mm-hmm. it takes to fix your credit or to establish credit, mm-hmm. and then get you a job, and then and then the get journey. financially stable, mm-hmm. get your debt ratio together. And, mm-hmm. And let people talk about this and thinking you all that for getting a house and then mm-hmm. keeping up with it and then saving 25% of your That's income your point, and then having six months reserved and being a responsible adult and then getting the furniture first mm-hmm. and then having a budget for the furniture and then thinking about the curtains you're going to put on. All this is into mm-hmm. a house. Right, right. You're right. Until on. you enjoy you're that right. process, mm-hmm. you don't shorten the trip to actually get in the house. The more you hate that process, mm-hmm. the further that house goes away from you. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what the Bible says. Be faithful with few things. That's it. Rules over men. The law of accelerating acceleration says, Mm -hmm. and this is a real law, law of accelerating acceleration says, the more you chase your dreams, Mm -hmm. the more your dreams also chase you. So you speed up the time. Mm -hmm. Because as you move in this fast, they move in Mm -hmm. this fast to you. Mm -hmm. So you shorten the distance. But that's only when you see it like that? It's when you enjoy the process. Until you enjoy the journey, you must shorten until you Until enjoy the journey, the journey, you won't, you won't, you won't shorten, shorten the trip. trip. You will not. Mm-hmm. The more you hate the wow. journey, mm-hmm. the longer that trip will be. Wow. So, so, so would um, so would um, the first basis to uh, to ending the long road is would it be like like for me would it be finding gratitude outside of isolation the one thing you need in this life is gratitude it's the only thing you need you don't need anything else Mm -hmm. should you get gratitude Mm -hmm. everything else will find you Mm -hmm. but do i like like like, because i'm trying to understand if you know what i'm I'm saying i'm here i'm here to answer your question i'm trying to find out like like where is it is it inside the isolation cup or is it outside the isolation cup because sometimes at times i feel safe in the isolation cup 
Well, there is a time to be in isolation. Okay. I, there's plenty of time to be in isolation. Let me give you a few times to be in isolation. Should you go in the restroom and take a number two, I hope that you are allowed to be in isolation. Yeah. That's a one man job. If you're healthy enough for it to be a one man job, you understand what I'm saying? There are appropriate times to be in isolation. Okay. When you and your mother's womb coming out as a baby, I'm not saying it can't be. Two of you in there once, right? But only one of you need to come out of the womb at a time. Okay. Right. okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. It don't need to be two of you trying to come out at one time. Okay. You, you understand? Right. This is a great time for isolation. Okay. So then you find that person. You 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 choose to bring the right person out. Or you do that. Or the right person. Comes yeah. Out. Either way it goes, like gratitude. Mm -hmm. Your gratitude like your will gratitude. draw everything to you. Okay. Everything you need, everything you need is gratitude. Okay. Everything you need is gratitude will draw everything to you. So finding it in both, both you, places. You find it everywhere. You find it when it's in the bad, you find it in the good, you find it in isolation, you find it in groups. Every single thing you need. Will come through grat will come through gratification and gr gratitude. Oh, because that 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 that's a big help to me right there. Cause you know, it's a yeah, it's a big help to that's everybody. One of the things I I, I do a lot is, and, and sometimes when I go into that isolation phase, I bring the negativity with me and not gratitude. And how it's can just, you have? It's just me sitting there with me and the negativity and just. That's fair, man. Who who else does that? Just, just I go what? crazy. And bring in the negative. In isolation. Once you go into isolation, you bring the negative to you. <laughs> if you're gonna, you can't take positive into isolation. Not that, not that, not kind, that of kind of isolation. isolation. Yeah, not that now kind. Now use of the restroom. Okay, you go in the pocket. But anytime you isolate yourself, well, well, it, well going I'm, away I'm to read all here. I'm, I'm talking all here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Going, going you know, away to recharge out. after a long party. That's not isolation. That's isolation to recharge. Uh, that's positive. Yeah, okay. that's okay. But to okay. be hey, hey, down and, and, and deep in a negative place and go off and continue to be deep and down mm -hmm. in negative, it's mm -hmm. only going to create and more negative. deep and down negative. Your, your self talk. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. That's where most of your dreams will die. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You see, you see, I'm just learning a lot of this stuff. No, I got no, I'm I'm learning I, too. I, I'm I, learning I, too. I, I learned that. I learned myself that I battled with depression and I didn't even know what depression was. You know what I mean? I, and I had to learn that. And like I said, I learned it through the ice, the the isolation. Mm -hmm. The the as much as I wanted people around me, or wanted to be around people, I shut people out. And, and 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 I got to a point to where at times the same person that was on isolation had became the same person on the outside. That I, I just hey I'm I'm gonna find a reason to push you away because at times I just feel like. I feel uneasy with with who I am already, so it's like, mm. it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like I'm disgusted with, you know what I'm saying, who I even try to be in front of people because, like, because when I go back to the isolation, it's like, all right, this is comfortable for me. This is who I need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. okay, can't, can't nobody hurt me right <laughs> here. Can't nobody, you know what I'm saying, get right here because, okay, if I want to be tough, I'm tough. If I want to, you know what I'm saying? If I want to, well, let me give you a better option. Mm -hmm. No one can hurt you until you allow them to, no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. No matter where you are. I have to learn all that. Well, no, no, most people wouldn't even, most people that be watching this wouldn't even accept it, what I just said. Mm -hmm. Okay. You won't even accept that because he hurt me, she hurt me, it's their fault. Mm -hmm. You're not taking responsibility right. for you allowing it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, first. Well, what if I don't have a choice but to allow it? You, you have a choice. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you that you're not being abused. I'm telling you that you vibrate at the frequency of abuse. Should you decide mm -hmm. that this is no longer worthy of you mm -hmm. and something positive is, those people will disappear out of your reality. What if the most what what if, what if most of the abuse comes from self is uncomfortable? That you it's it's self. You know why that's the worst thing? 
why self abuse is the worst thing? Because you ain't never alone from yourself. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm digging. I'm digging. Everybody. No, I'm just. I'm just learning about. I've been listening to Abraham Hicks, and he talks about self abuse and loneliness. We're not, we don't have an inner peace. There's no inner happiness. And you're going to be isolating when you think you're going to be isolating yourself because you're not happy with yourself. That's right. And people are going to avoid you. Anybody of substance is not, I'm not going to hang around with lonely, depressed people. I'm not going to do that. <coughs> you have to who wants to, who wants to be the one that somebody has to cheer up all the time? All the time. You never want to be the friend that someone always has to cheer up but just to hang on. It's kind of different because wow. I, I, I kind of see it kind of different because at times, you know what I mean? At times, I could be the person that, that you know, I'm cheering up at everybody, but long and then, road. you know what I'm saying? But you're on a long road right now mm-hmm. because you're not accepting the data coming your way. You get it? The data coming your way. The information coming your way, you're not accepting. I'm not telling you that you're rejecting, mm-hmm. you are, but I'm just saying it's far kind of way. You're not accept. Allow everything. Mm-hmm. And if you know what you want, mm-hmm. you're only entertaining what mm-hmm. serves that. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what you want, allow everything. And if you're happy, only thing that can actually exist in your reality is what matches your frequency. You don't reject. You allow. You don't, don't reject. You allow. That's it. And then you can decide. Some stuff you only have to decide because it don't vibrate your frequency. It will just miss you. Mm-hmm. You just go with the flow of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You just have to fight against the current back. There, and there will be times you have to fight against the current, but that's a cliche. You will find the current and its flow, and you'll go do your own thing. You'll take the stream less traveled, which what we call fighting against the current. Oh man, you know he did his own thing. He fought against the current and became his own man. Okay, or. Followed the flow of the stream, saw a path never traveled, and blissfully followed that path. That sounds so inviting and relaxing. And, and it's what actually happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you're against something, you're going to multiply what's against you. Mm-hmm. Whatever you resist, persist. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you're against, mm-hmm. you're going to create more of. I'll give you a great well, example. You're against it? Oh. Yes. Yes. Because it's, it, it's, your energy is fertilizer. Mm-hmm. And you just putting a little fertilizer okay. on little seeds and whoop, look at that big old healthy plant. Get in the so every time you're against what your wife do and you keep letting her know, you're going to get more of that. Oh, yeah. That's like my daughter. Yeah. When I was rege- when I was uh, co- when I was mm-hmm. commenting on her attire, her uh-huh. short skirts and uh, her low neckline, and I would I would was against it, and I would comment on it. And this, it and when I changed it, when I changed it and complimented her, she was like, and then she became more aware of what she was wearing. Mm-hmm. And actually, th- we had a conversation just the other day, and then she was like. Mom, do you think this is she has asking my opinion? Do you think it's too short? And I said, no, not at all. And I, it's a, it's her. I allow her to wear it. And then she was actually able, like, no, I think it's too short. Because you ain't resisting. I did not resist it. You're not resisting it. She resisting. She's gonna be wearing a spaghetti string. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. And that exactly. Works even with you. Like, and that yeah. works even when you do it to yourself. Yeah. What? Absolutely. Any, everything is energy. So when you push at something, you will get more of what you're pushing at. Because you're paying, where energy goes, attention flows, what they say. I like to say where energy goes, that thing will grow. Wow. See what you say? You say that you thing will grow. Attitude? 
Well, you move oh, your feet. No, they go slam the door and oh, come yeah. back out and yeah. say something else and stomp around and say something else. You okay. come home, you come home, you got five A's and two B's, and, and mama say, what's this B here, what's this 86 here doing? Mm-hmm. You got, you, last one, you got, you need to pick the 86 up, mm-hmm. and she didn't see the five A's. Mm-hmm. Right. So what you say is, you know what, why I don't even know why I try. Yep. Mm-hmm. And all the grades go down. So would that make me wrong for so so in parenting, right? I realized that one of my biggest things that held me back a lot of times was my attitude. Was the fact that once I could get into I get into some of these stubborn moments and say, well, I ain't gonna do it like that. Now before you finish, I want you to say held me back all the time. Held me back. Not a lot of the time. Right. Held me back all the time. Okay, right. It's much better. Right. It it my attitude held me back all the time. And it wasn't the good attitude. It was always the downside of my attitude. Of course. And and one of my biggest things with, with my kids now, and, and, and the praise that I, that I brought through my kids, and, and I had to realize, it, 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 like, like positive mind, positive attitude, no matter where you go. You know what I mean? I know you've got to go to school, but you also have a job. Your job, love, respect, and focus. Listen to your teacher. Positive mind, positive attitude. You know what I'm saying? And I try to, and I try to enforce that all the time. When my baby good, she could be the one that really just attitude, attitude, attitude. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my, you see, I don't like that. I don't like your attitude. So it's like, you get more of it, right? So why don't you? She doesn't have an attitude. Compliment on Why don't you point that out to her? Say, yep. wow, you're doing really, really good. Mm-hmm. Or do, uh, compliment or give her a, a positive feedback when she does something positive. Mm-hmm. Instead of correcting the wrong, okay. embrace the positive. Because at that moment, cause, cause at that moment when she does it, when she does it, mm. I see that little kid in me mm. doing the same thing. And instead of I guess they're doing the same thing. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. So what are you correcting? Huh? Or what you hate in me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm correcting what I hate in me. Mm-hmm. And that's all parents who do that. Mm-hmm. Not just you. Oh, Thank yeah. you for your transparency. Mm-hmm. That's all parents who do that. Mm-hmm. You're not correcting your child. You're correcting what you hate about you. Mm-hmm. And your child has to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all parents who do it. Mm-hmm. Not, that is universal. It's a therapy couch, we would say that. It's counseling, I would have said that. It's all facts. You're saying, oh, I don't like when I used to that, or I made this mistake, and I hate that I made this mistake, so I'm going to pound this mistake right. out of you. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and that's what happens. wrong. That is wrong. Yeah, because your child has to lead their life. Right. And then on top of that, your experience has nothing to do with their experience. Right. Okay. But your experience, experience has nothing to do with my experience. And it doesn't mean you know better. And you, you, you damn sure don't know more. Well, I'm actually learning from them. No, I'm just saying, your 20 years of, your, your 40 years of experience as an adult doesn't make you know more than your child. Mm. It just gives you 40 years of experience. Right. Mm. Okay. It doesn't make you know more. It's just 40 years experience. Children are real numbers. And most would tell you, now I would tell you, more brilliant than us because they're growing up with more than what we ever had. Okay. Yeah. I'm far smarter than my parents by design, not because they're less intelligent than me. I got Google. Mm-hmm. I ain't never mm-hmm. known a world without a computer. Well, this I've never known a world without a computer. The whole time I've been alive, a computer has existed. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> he don't know the good old days. No, he don't know the good old days. Good. Yeah, I, 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 I,
Yeah, first microwave. We took a steak and potatoes in the microwave. No, okay. like yeah. top. The microwave. You talking about what went in the microwave? You ain't just put anything in the microwave. Push button, phone. Come on, I remember that. I mean, ever dial the wrong number on a rotary dial and then you gotta hang it up and start all over. Yes, yes. So you understand. Don't, and then if you had long ears, you had to use uh, your hands <coughs> So it's fair to say we is a bit smart. Oh, no, <laughs> it's fair. Yeah. It's fair to say that my nine-year-old boy and my six-year-old boy are smarter than me. Mm-hmm. They ain't never known a world without a smartphone. Mm-hmm. To get a cell phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's for real. They've always right. had the smartphones. So yeah. right. so They've been walking around with supercomputers. They whole life. <clears throat> One of the first toys I bought them was some was Toys R Us version of the iPad. Mm-hmm. The it, it wasn't a real the official yeah. price. The VTech. Yeah, the VTech. The VTech yeah. that actually had yeah. little chips that you yes. could buy. Yeah, the little cartridge that you could buy. Yeah, the little mouse pad and everything. Oh, I didn't That's see that. insane. Yeah, yeah right you're right. The, the VTech. Yeah. Right That's insane. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. insane. They My was one-year-old grandson got that. Little, yeah. like a little play computer and a little play cell phone. Who's one? Okay, one with a play computer, play cell phone. He's been trained right now. My son, from the moment he came out. They smart. From, from, from the time he can actually, <laughs> from the time my son can do the real phone. Thing, it's real. He actually had a phone. Yeah. Yeah. Phone and YouTube. And if you yeah. see him now, that's what he All right, so check it out. Back to the point. Wow. The only point that matters. There are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. Okay. It's just longer roads that you travel because of your ego, and your vibration, and your self-esteem, and your auto-suggestion, and your subconscious, and your desire to be right. Longer roads. To get to your supreme destiny, whatever that is that you are creating for yourself. Just longer roads. And that's the truth. Every time y'all have ever wanted to be right, you ruin some relationship. Every time. Every time you had to be right, you ruin some, some relationship. Most of us, at the expense of wanting to be right in ourselves, we kill the relationship. Mm-hmm. Parents, just to be right. Just to be right. Just to be right. And then we just, and then we say, "Well, I was right though." And, and then we and make ourselves take, feel better because, yeah. What well, we we make ourselves feel better by blaming the person mm-hmm. instead of blaming us. Mm-hmm. See, I knew they was gonna leave. Well, yeah, they was gonna leave because you've been attracted the whole time, mm-hmm. and you set the stage for them to leave. And then you you was right, so they could leave. And you wouldn't go be insane, so they had to leave, so you can prove yourself right. No mistakes. All, okay, all that learned behavior that you do, it's good. But it doesn't mean that's what you're vibrating at. Well, how do we how do we recognize the difference between learned behavior and unlearned behavior for the people that, that, that sure. are aware of? Sure. <coughs> learned behavior is obviously stuff that you've picked up along the way. Right. Don't cuss her out because she cussed you out. Mm-hmm. Don't hit him back. Okay. Tim's just correcting me. Tony, listen. Okay, this is not a good situation to be in. Need to move. Be kind. Volunteer. Open the doors for women. Open the doors for women. Oh, okay. Pump gas. Me and got to Some of the natural stuff that just <coughs> just learn behavior. It's just, just learn behavior. It's good. Learn some behavior. Good, some of them Be respectable at work. Right. Answer the phone with a polite voice. Mm-hmm. Whoop your kids with a Shave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was big enough to stuff. <laughs> yeah, whoop your kids with a belt, that's a yeah, learned behavior. Okay. Okay. It's not a good one, it's a learned behavior. All that stuff. What you call an unlearned behavior, and the 
context of this conversation we've been having so thus far, because we can say other stuff, but in the context we've been having in this conversation, is what I was saying is your instincts, your auto suggestion. That's what we've been talking about. I can go on a tangent what unlearned behavior is, the Mason versus Nurture argument, but I'll, I'll never solve that because it's been an argument that's been happening since the beginning of time. But in the context of this conversation, we've been talking about learned behavior versus auto suggestion. Okay. What okay. you automatically put in your mind that you can only hear me through. You can only hear me through your auto suggestion. It's in Think and Grow Rich, like <coughs> chapter two, I believe. Okay. You only ever gonna hear me how you if I already predestined to prepare to hear me. Mm -hmm. And anything like me. Mm -hmm. And anybody like me. Okay. This is why some people can't take us can't take criticism mm -hmm. because they've already suggested to themselves, don't ever let nobody criticize you. Hmm. So they can't take criticism. Okay. Because they they've already said, I'm never gonna be wrong. Right. That mm -hmm. and when somebody says they're wrong, they have to overreact. Prepare. It's in the auto suggestion. Mm -hmm. It needs to be retrained. Okay. But <coughs> you can only respond how you told yourself you're gonna respond. Right. Okay. There's no other way. When no. this happened, I'm gonna do this. I understand it now. Okay, good. I understand it now. Good. Because good. it's like it's, it's, it's crazy when you go from one mind state to a whole totally different yeah. to find the awareness of it. Because, <laughs> because Last year, December 27th, uh, 2017, I decided, I decided to change my mindset. And, and, and just like you said just now, once I chose to put, once I chose to listen to some of the other, the other artists, or people, speakers, right, mentors, and, and now, now I can understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Because I haven't already set myself up to to understand. Correct? Right, yeah, absolutely. I'll check this out. And guess what it is? Go see what that is, folks. So let's check this out. <laughs> what we do is we remember. Is that for me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on in. Come on in. I'm wrapping up a video. How you doing? What we do is there are no mistakes. And in the no mistakes, this guy here develops apps. Let yourself be seen. Millions yeah, of people don't see it. All right. <laughs> don't tell them how to reach you. You can reach me at freshtechsolutions.com with the Z on the end, 713-893-8125. Okay. He did that pretty good like he did all the time. All right. There are no mistakes. Know it, accept it, receive it. There are only longer roads you take to get to where you're trying to create. Period, point blank. It's not, it's not changing. The way you know that you're on the right path is your freaking feelings. It is, it is your contractual obligation, your contractual agreement that you have decided to talk to your inner being with, hey, this don't feel good, equals you on the longer road. Mm -hmm. This feels great. Stay here. Doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs>